Hello everyone! In this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough then also you can search for yourself but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys and as always keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. This was probably a post meant to dunk on, on Vivi or dunk on Niti Sanji. It's more a dunk on Niti Sanji and it's a damn shame for Vivi. I will say it right now. It's a damn shame for Vivi that she only got 300 watching while she was doing her practices because she enjoys the fighting game community. This is another one of her passions, and I would have loved to see one of her passions be watched by a thousand, two thousand people, you know, be watched by many people. I would have loved to have seen that because Vivi is a sweetheart. She definitely deserves the best. She joined because she wanted to see her Oshis, Selene, and Pomu. They left, and now that she is in Sejum Slam, Nidhi Sanji pretty much said you can't talk to them. You can't talk to, to Doki because she is an ex-member because we forbid you from doing it. And if she did do it, there are probably going to be some kind of negative consequences, either a suspension or things like that. But it is sad that a person who's so, so energetic and so pumped about being part of Sage Sam and being part of Nidhi Sanji because she's stoked about being a part of Nidhi Sanji. It was a dream of hers to be a part of this. So I will not take that from her. But it is sad that 301 is what she's getting because Nidhi Sanji does not know how to support their talents correctly. And that's where I always, always point the finger at. Never at the livers, always at the organization because they are truly the ones at fault. Her CCV is at least well over 100. New guys, new ways CCV, which is the Noth, is 101 the last time I checked. Um, at some point, some of them are, can't even go above 50. It was such a sad scene to see. It is because every single VTuber, as I've said, a hundred times before every single vtuber nidhi sanji or not tries their damnedest to make sure that everyone who is involved with their their streams everyone who's watching is entertained everyone who's watching gets their time's worth it gets the, gets everything worth time and energy put in it's just it is sad to see this from anybody in nidhi sanji en even jp jp has better management structure but en itself doesn't Despite how much of an S show Niji Sanji Yen is, it's still in AN Livers, who I hope to see the best for, and, Niji, and Vivi is one of them, me too. Uh, you have also uh, Maria Marinette, you have, you know, Petra even, though she's had a little bit of gaff with the, you know, the Riku thing, but that was all, you know, that was all for her, for her thing. And that's her position, whatever she wants it to be. Then we have Rosami, we have Scarla, we have other people that is that deserve happiness and deserve better things well sure given how large she is she should deserve more i'm happy that she's still drawing regular viewers who watch her for her and not just because she's a part of niji so that's the thing yes she has a small fan base but she has a dedicated fan base it seems and i'm glad that she does a huge win for Pekora, Hollow Life, and even for Hideo Kojima. As you may or may not know, because you may not be following Hollow Life as much as i do uh Pekora recently as in like probably the last six months or so she did metal gear solid she played through a lot of metal gear solid games and um including snake eater and other things like that hideo kojima was watching her as she was doing it was actively watching and actively cheering her on so she seems to be a pekora fan seems to be usa the pekora fan and uh right here it says director director hideo kojima invites hololives usa the pekora to kojima productions kojima productions which is his new company after you know the whole thing happened with Konami. Being the first VTuber to do so, director Kojima's friendships have finally broken through the dimensional barrier. Yes, with Usada Pekora. Now, they have an actual uh, article here. Director Hideo Kojima invites Hololive Usada Pekora. Photo director Pekora as Ludens and Ludens is released. There's Ludens in the background. Death Stranding, I believe, is that for Death Stranding 2. Uh, yeah, he's developing Death Stranding 2. Posted a photo of him and Hololive Usada Pekora at Kojima Productions on Twitter. And um, this is the first time a VTuber has been invited to Kojima Productions. There, she, there he goes on his actual official uh, Twitter account. And director Kojima has previously invited friends, actors who appeared in his games, and film directors as his friends too, uh, to Kojima Productions where they have taken photos in front of Ludens, the studio symbolic character that stands at the entrance recently. Actor and artist Jen Hoshiro, director Joaquin Kosina, that basically Joaquin, yeah, they're all there. Uh, Wolf Stand director Gakuryu Ishii, the movie Boxman, voice actor Kenjiro Tsuda, who voiced the Japanese version of Sam, the main character in Death Stranding, have appeared in photos taken at Kojima Productions. And among them is the reason why uh, Pekora was invited, because Kojima watched Pekora's commentary on Metal Gear Solid series, responded to it on X, 
seems to have easy like Pekora's commentary posting screenshots of the community multiple times. Yes, I remember this. This was in September 2023. So it was actually almost a year ago. My bad. I said six months. It was a year ago. I remember it like it was yesterday. Holy crap. Uh, yeah. And here you have uh, basically Pekora doing the whole um, inserting herself in the monologue thing that happens. You know, the calls that you get from, you know, the, the higher ups in a lot of the Metal Gear Solid games. Dr. Kojima has a wide circle of friends throughout the industry, and these friends have finally broken through the barriers of dimensions. And yay, congratulations to Pekora. Congratulations to Hideo Kojima. Thank you, Hideo Kojima, for, you know, having the first VTuber be Pekora, who shows up at your studio. I'm sure she enjoyed it. I'm sure you enjoyed it. It's just, it's great all around. This is a bit of a short one, but it is an update slash correction slash whatever you want to call it about something that I had recently put out, I believe it was two videos ago, uh, yesterday, one of yesterday's videos, about Nerissa getting the bonk hammer uh, on her from management in regards to having her family on. It made it seem like she never told them about what was going on, and it made it seem like management was like, why didn't you ever tell me? She cleared it up because there were some misunderstandings, of course. And here is what she says from her own mouth, so take it as, you know, gospel here. Hiya, I saw some of you were getting worried about me regarding the story I told recently about my family streams. I just want to clarify, my manager and lots of management did know. I did ask and wasn't actually in any sort of trouble as I followed the protocol given by them before my family ever appeared. It was just a funny miscommunication with another branch of management. Probably the EN side knew and probably didn't communicate with the JP side, which makes sense. They are a large megalithic corporation. Uh, Sometimes the left hand does not know what the right hand is doing. That needs to get fixed. Now that we're seeing issues like that happen, like with Crony not getting perms, then, uh, you know, not getting perms quickly, like taking 28 days and stuff like that. Uh, Kiaria having certain issues. Uh, Mori Calliope having Dark Souls 3 issues. Uh, there is something with the left, right, left hand not knowing what the right hand is doing. When you get so big, things slip through the cracks. And luckily, this is an agency that allows their talents to criticize them rightfully so in what things that they're doing wrong. But hopefully that management side gets fixed. I'm just being, uh, you know, objective and calling out where it needs to be called out. It's not malicious. Don't get me wrong. I know it's not malicious. It is just things are slipping through the cracks because they're getting bigger and maybe they're not growing their uh, their employees as quickly as they should or not training them as quickly as they should. Things will happen. People don't know how, ever, like the new people, won't know how everything works. So it'll be a while before things get fixed and the holes get plugged. But I, I trust that Hololive and Cover are one of those agencies that will plug those holes. So thought I'd give you, it'd give you a laugh, but for those who were in the situation, it was generally very chill and silly on all sides. We had a good laugh. So overall, no, she's not in big trouble. No, they didn't actually get angry at her. They're like, oh, please let us know next time. Please make sure that we know next time. Uh, it was probably more for her managers than it was for her. It was probably more her managers be like, look, I know we're separate. I know we're C's apart, but uh, make sure we know, please. Just make sure we know, like the big guys up over here, the, e the JP side, make sure we know, just to make sure that there's nothing, you know, nothing that's being uh, skipped through, no, no checks and balances that aren't being skipped through. Of course, it is a Japanese corporation, like I said before. So they have a ton of checks and balances. They are very old school. Even with uh, CEO Yago being a little bit more new, uh, nuanced in the way he does things, it is a very old school corporation. So make sure to you know, have these things go through and hopefully these issues don't happen again. Twitch has done another oopsie. In my opinion, this is an oopsie and I'll show you why in a little bit. Today, I just opened some Magic the Gathering from me and Marina. Uh, gathering cards with gloves on, covering my arms, talking about chronic illness when you flag the stream as S content. I did not even make any crude jokes. I was talking about normal things and oh, about to open Magic cards. Now the VOD is not available. I really want the VOD back so I like this content since I like the content a lot. Could maybe, could we maybe fix this? Uh, it's freaking Twitch. It's not going to fix it. I'm uh, not sure if it happened because I am a VTuber. Yes, it happened because you're a VTuber, unfortunately. I'll answer that one for you. Uh, it's my first time ever since I'm not an S loot creator at all. So they're, they're a say so creator. My VTuber model is completely covered up on all important places. Thank you for the help. I went to check since I uploaded thumbnails of the VODs, even though they didn't last long. Made a really good one for today, being able to open a booster box. And it's not a daily thing. So trust me when I was shocked to see that the VOD is not there. Like, loved magic card opening is lewd. It says, not sure if it's possible, but it might thought setup is also saves a copy of stream to your computer or a YouTube VOD channel or something just in case this happens again. Shame you lost the VOD. I used to multi-stream, but specifically 
tried to please Twitch by focusing on their website instead. I, I didn't do that. I just kept multi-streaming. Uh, I do not, I cannot do the thing where it saves VODs right away since they don't have the drive space for that. I kind of depend on my VODs and downloading them afterwards, especially the YouTube content. So it's very worrisome. It is. Here's what they did. It says the VOD is gone. But if you're wondering what hat stream looks like and made it up, nope. Gloved hands, gloved hands. Uh, remember, I specifically talk about my daily life without opening the booster box. They put a label on there and sent the mail. My direct reaction to that. And this is their direct reaction. Midstream? Did they set me to branded content rerun? They put me on sexual themes! Are you kidding me? They put me on sexual themes? And that's her model. I'm taking that out. No, Twitch, this is not a sexual stream. I am. I'm literally opening magic cards. This is not a sexual stream. I have no interest in making a sexual stream today, Twitch. I, I have no interest in doing that ever. I'm just, I just want to open magic cards. And that is the weirdness. See right there. Uh, nothing. Just opening magic cards. Just showing her, I guess, the fact that she's a woman. I don't know. I, th I honestly think. Here's, here's what I think. Here's honestly what I think. I think that someone reported her. A mass report. I think that's what this was. Just like what happened to Taiga. But, you know, much, much, much worse with Taiga. Uh, mass reports get seen and like automatically okay it's it's reported this many times it must be that content so let's mark it let's brand it as that immediately i think that's what ended up happening and it's unfortunate for her i do hope that she gets her her uh, vod back hopefully at some point and uh this doesn't happen again i don't think she's gonna get the vod back but i hope this doesn't happen again unfortunately now that more people know about it it may happen again but you know my hope is that it doesn't harasol is a Egyptian Peregrine goddess. I have had them on my VTuber showcase in the past. Uh, what has happened recently? I went to go check out their channel because I was like, hey, you know, I always like keeping in touch and seeing what is going on when it comes to Hara Soul. So I went to check out their channel and it was no longer available because they were suspended for seven days. Why were they suspended for seven days? Because, um, I don't know, they, they showed S content according to this. Uh, according to what they said, they cut me off while live too. Come on, man. At least let me finish the stream. Kind of suspended, begging on my knees for five days instead of seven because she wants to be there for Space Marines 2, which is coming soon. It is definitely coming soon. But what happened? Um, you have here, really hate that when Twitch suspends you, it looks out, locks out your account. It doesn't allow followers to look at your links and find out what happened. Can't even make clips. Yeah, it, it makes it look like you were deleted. It absolutely makes you look like you were deleted. And that is the scary part because holy crap. You know, making uh, someone look like they have been fully deleted is scary overall. <clears throat> Let's take a look at what they have been putting out here. They mentioned, um, previously had mentioned uh, that it was like a, I think it was like a booba window show or yeah, I think it was a booba window show or something like that, that they did. Um, yeah, it was that right there. It was a booba window show. They had it for a little bit too long. Uh, but the thing is, here's the, th here's the issue that I have. The big issue that I have. Uh, how is this different than what Twitch allows, which is the hot tubs and pool stream, the pools and hot tubs thing, where women are in scantily clad bikinis, right? I mean, they, they have the right to do that in the beach here that way as well, but they allow that on Twitch and that's IRL people with IRL boobs, with IRL cleavage and IRL stuff, but the VTubers aren't allowed anywhere near that. She is more covered there than you would see in a pools and hot tub stream. She is more covered there than some people who have actually had intercourse on stream nude on stream and they've gotten a seven day ban she got the same type of ban for someone who was actually doing stuff with their partner on stream that is that is bs that is a little too harsh i can understand you know you know, you, you have to make sure it has it is uh, directed towards the right audience and that type of stuff you have to make sure that the right audience gets to see it in the sense of no children get to see it that I understand. But even if children got to see this, what's different than this and maybe, you know, going out for children to see something out in, like at the beach or at, uh, you know, some people wearing dresses that have this? What's the difference? It's like you're going to try to shield kids' eyes from everything? It's, I don't know. It just it just seems weird. It seems weird to me. Going on hopes and dreams. In this case, uh, they, this person, Erusha, comes open, Erusha VA, he decided to announce that they will be voicing Alba and Hannah in Kamikaze Last Planes, an upcoming game that will be playing on stream, that they played on stream. Kamikaze Last Planes is a, a, looks like it's a mobile game, I believe. 
it is this person here doing their content there let me give you a little bit of a taste of course it is it looks like it's going to be an azure lane type of thing because of the lewdness that it appears to have they did a full three hour stream of it let's get a look of this Sky Fortress resembles a beautiful town out of a picture, but I describe it more as a perfectly functioning machine. So yeah, this is the game that they were doing. It's very story driven, it looks like. It's very story driven. So that's very good. And I'll, of course, congratulations to Erusha. Erusha, I don't know exactly how to say it. I apologize, but congratulations to them on this big, big win. What is going on here? Liz Bell, Lizabel was making Cult of the Lamb, your character here, slots open on Kofi. And uh, she was getting copied, basically. She was getting copied by, um, you know, by this other person here. Lineko was copying them pretty much, uh, you know, tracing and doing it over and basically charging people for that. Uh, since we know what happened, she inquired me for a commission. She got my price and she also copied Mako as well. And asked for other examples, which I sent. Mutual sent me a DM saying the post is familiar to mine, so I wanted to check out her profile. Three, I find out I was blocked on the profile and remember her profile picture was familiar. Checked out messages and saw it was a client inquiring from before. Another, uh, your character here creator has experience where this person copied their exact same text and emotes of their posts as bait for commissions and engagement. So it's just basically copying here and our DMs for inquiring. Uh, basically, Lineko is also involved in all of this. Uh, Lineko um, is the one who's been, you know, copying both her and uh, Lizabel as well on Cult of the Lamb things. Lineko has them as your character here, pretty much a direct trace. And blocked profile was blocked before I tweeted my concerns. They had things here. So cute, evil, really like it. Approximately how much do you need to make it? 50 bucks. Time, uh, sorry, my bad English in Spain. Oh, time will be done and then blocked. So Lineko was inquiring about these things and then uh, basically copied them. Of course, we will overlay her art on top of my VTuber model uh, characters. This is my latest post, but not the one I made from April. So basically people from Lineko are saying that Michael copied Lineko. Of course, now they're saying that Mako uh, it basically is doing the copying instead. Basically trying to shift the blame, shift the goalposts, etc. It's a really, really, really messy thing. But um, just saying here, finally unblocked me and I thought we were going to come to a conclusion. Asked her to confirm a few questions I had. It wasn't even that much again. It was blocked, no choice. Thank you for sending this. I won't show my na your name uh, so that they stay clear from drama. There's basically, this person is, um, you know, again, showing the overlays of what they had and what they made so a lot of a lot of copying going on and here mako is doing the irl you know in real time type of things of the full uh, character they do you know the full the full tracing the full drawing the full everything as people do to try to you know make it seem like you know they're actually doing everything which is mako is the one that's actually doing everything as you can see here they even do it on pen and paper on pencil and paper to show their full art, to show the full way of doing it, how they did it, how they originally got it done, proving that they were the original person who did it. And again, over here, it goes to show you agree you can't voice your concerns if you have a bigger following. You'll only be seen as a bully. Regarding the issue, I was blocked again before we can come to a conclusion, so I won't speak on the matter anymore. Really can't do anything else. Take it how you want. This will be my last and final post. I will just continue the Cult of the Lamb VTuber model service, so if you want, you can commission her instead. Again, I do not own Cult of the Lamb art style. But I'll leave this here for you to judge. I bid farewell and wonderful day. Good night. So they pretty much got bullied out of it. They, because they got seen as a bully, the community bullied them. Because they seen it, got seen as a larger creator trying to bully a smaller creator that did the original thing. When really they were the ones that copied. Again, you know, they copied everything. And um, it sucks uh, being, I guess, a bigger creator. You do have that risk. I don't, I'm not a bigger creator, so I wouldn't know. But I guess that is a risk of being a bigger creator. You get see, do get seen as a bully, even if you are correct. Yoshika. A VTuber who I believe was previously independent is going to be joining Haruo Soy as an individual on August 31st, 2024. We are happy that Haruo Soy will be supporting our business cooperation and surrounding development in Taiwan, which will allow us to um, to expand our activities there. Uh, Yoshika Channel is going to be joining everything there, and that's basically what's being said. Uh, this is Yoshika Channel here. Uh, the things that they've been doing they have 90,000 subscribers already so they're already joining they're joining a group that's going to be big and um here is the same announcement and springfish this is their announcement here august 31st uh 
became an affiliate official member of Yoshika Mori channel. Yoshika Mori became an official member of them. Weird translation thing. Very happy uh, was established on August 31st and officially joined a member of the group. So Yoshika Mori is officially a member of the group now, as it's been said before. What is Springfish though? Springfish is a Taiwan VTuber group. Uh, it's called Springfish Creation, On the Verge of Death, Eerie Evil, Extremely Deep Sky Plan, all these other things. They have, you know, their people. Uh, Lutra Ultra, Lutra, Neutral Ultra. You have Olda, Arendelle, Nemesis, Emua, Cygnus, Celestial as another one here. All their different uh, or ones, cooperation. All of them. They, they're a large VTuber group. It looks like a large VTuber group. And now you have Yoshiki, Yoshika, who's going to be joining them as well. Just a little bit of outside of the US, outside of the EN sphere VTuber news. More stuff on the indie VTuber scene, of course. October, uh, Mara Vantry is set to host a fan meetup panel at New York Comic Con alongside several guest VTubers. Who are those guest VTubers? Let's take a look. Uh, it's going to be Nori Gori, Static Tokyo, Violet v Vainglory, and Nicholas Wraith. Nicholas Wraith are in the meetup's guest lineup. Yeah, um, Mara Eventry has announced that she will host a fan meetup panel this year at New York's Comic Con. Let's dive into VTuber Comic Con. Join us at attend our VTuber meetup, which is great. It's very great for them to have it. During the meetup, our plan is to do a live Q&A after explaining our content types are, how we started, why we started, and a bit about our content. We'll try to answer as many questions as we can uh, after that within the hour of the event. The panel will have fellow content creators as guests, ASMR and audio roleplay creator Ludmila VT, virtual phantom Nicholas Wraith, uh, variety streamer Dungeon & Dragons player Violet Vanglory, Commentary VTuber Static Tokyo, uh, Mara Asked to Go, uh, Feral Cat Boy Nori Gori, they're all gonna be there. It's a big win for the VTuber community, a big win for independent VTubers. Welcome back to the VTuber Showcase, where I try to give back to the VTuber community who has given so much to me. You guys have been amazing here, and I really always appreciate it. Of course, I appreciate all your support, and I want to spread the love, spread the support around as much as I can by showcasing VTubers here and there. Today, we are showcasing Lord Bonner, the Bone King, uh, Chrisak Jake, Kirisaki Jake. Uh, they want to be called Kirisaki Jake. They're a he, him VTuber, of course. They are not lewd in any way, at least in their um, their regular content. They are not a full-time creator either. Uh, they, according to this, they are a retired Grim Reaper, not related to a certain apprentice of death, who had gotten bored of mowing the lawn. They're talking about Cali. They're mowing the lawn and waiting for the grass to grow back. I love point-and-click games like Nancy Drew games. I also have a love-hate relationship with racing games. Mainly to me too. I enjoy action adventure games so long as it's an easy mode. Just preference. Don't judge. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm bad at games. I just, it, it's become my brand at this point where I'm bad at games. But they, they're, they're just as bad as I am. So that's good. I'm also the author creator of Fighters, the Lion and the Cat manga series that no one reads and I'm currently writing follow-up fighters to broken dolls provided I can get over my writer's block writer's block is a serious thing it does happen a lot um, I will of course show their YouTube channel as well as other things that they have uh, shown us this is the main thing here the uh, content is intended for mature audiences of course so I can't show it but this is their tapas where they are actually um, showing everything they're actually showing their their writing chops they have a lot of episodes all the way to episode 12, 13, 14. They have several episodes. Holy crap, they have a lot of episodes. Uh, so they've been doing a lot there. And here is their YouTube channel. Here is the, the full look of them. Here's their YouTube channel where they have, um, you know, their their stuff popping up here. They are a, uh, a PNG tuber, it looks like, which is a VTuber. Don't catch me outside if you think that PNG tubers aren't, aren't VTubers. They're VTubers, for goodness sakes. Uh, they are. I, I believe he's a PNG VTuber. It looks like he is. Uh, PNG tubing has come a long way, by the way, compared to how it was before. Before, when I started doing it, you didn't even have blinking or anything like that. Now you have blinking and all these other different things that can happen. But here is some other content where in this one they were doing um, some actual building of... Oh, le left one looks like it's building a Triceratops, building different dinos, doing that type of thing. So it's, it's very fun. It's fun content. I will, of course, have every single one of their... Uh, things down below. Everyone on one of their socials below. Thank you so, so much for being a part of this VTuber showcase. I do absolutely hope that this helps you grow. I absolutely hope that this helps you in your VTuber journey. I'm moving along a little bit so you can see the actual look of him and hopefully this helps him out. Okay. 
Foquem nela, mano. Foquem nela. Foquem nela, mano. Foquem nela, mano. Foquem nela. Foquem nela. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.